Hey, if you want to see how we did this back cover really easy, stick around to the end. So the next project I'm going to do here is this back window. What I'm going to do is just a vinyl one that is just a cheap one I got off of Amazon. So we're going to test it out and see how it fits. As per the directions, went ahead and laid it out like it said to let it sit. It's been sitting like this for 24 hours. So I got it sitting here so you can see this is going to be the back window. And this is the directions you get. According to this, it's only four easy steps. After installing the windshield for the CF Moto, I have a feeling this is going to be a very optimistic with four easy steps. All right, the first thing I noticed is I'm going to have to take these two little screws that are mounting the roof. I'm going to have to take those out because it looks like those go through. And I'll show you what I mean here. Okay, don't do like I did and actually tighten these back up until you make sure that you have the straps here on the right side. These go on the other side. So I gotta take this back off, flip it around and put it back on. this on now I got the two screws in up there holding it but I got them loose that way I got a little bit of play to try to figure out how to get these straps around Alright, you saw how we got these on, now I'm just going to go do the same thing on the other side. see that how those go in there very hard to get in there and film that all right I figured these must be for when you roll up the window but I gotta get this strap around the bar meaning this needs to go up around on the other side of this 
and up back around the outside again. So I gotta flex the roof to get that out. Okay, due to frustration with these corners, I can't get these corners to do anything. They're just not, I can't figure out how to get them in there. So what I did is I took these two bolts with the roof out. Now to get your roof off your CF Moto, this is the U4 600 model. Let me show you the inside bolts you need to get out too. All right, I've already got them out, but you can see there was one that goes here in the middle, then one on the other side there. Then there's also one up here and on the same side over there. And then once you have those off, this front part will pick up and you just slide it back and you can lift your roof off. So after taking this off, I can tell you it's much easier. If you just take the roof off from the beginning, putting this on is probably gonna be about five minutes. So let me show you how it looks now that we took the roof off and I can adjust the straps easily. Yeah, you can see it fits so much better on here. Like I said, these must be, so that way when you, if you unzip this all the way, you can roll it up if you wanna hold it up there. But it fits so much better when you take the roof off. But now, we're gonna reinstall the roof now. All right, so my takeaway on doing this, actually it's a pretty good product. The quality seems really good. The Velcro is nice and strong. The straps are nice and strong. Everything seems well sewn. The only thing is with the instructions, I would say just take the roof off. It makes it so much easier. And then just put it back on when you're done.